What is up, what is up, welcome to a brand new episode of the Grease Couch Chronicles, DCC for short. <laughs> this is a podcast, believe it or not. <laughs> Just right? in case you were Because <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, because, you I mean, it should be a normal thing, right? Because I see, I see so much, you know what, what I mean? Like, podcast? a lot of podcasts, like pretty much just exist like they're just around yeah, you know what i mean like, it wasn't like that three four years ago when we started so like people i guess they have st- a stigma of the idea of like what it is. like this is a podcast you know what i mean so when you think of it it's like person or person sitting down xyz and you know what i mean if you're like people like they visually watch them you know what i mean mm-hmm. like you don't have like podcasts don't really have like a heavy listener um audience, audience yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Some do, like, the people who, like, they clean or whatever, so they're not really, like, watching it. They're, like, listening. So they're cleaning or doing whatever they're doing. They're doing homework or whatever. So I think when I say, like, this is a podcast, like, we have a podcast, to me, it's something different. You know what I mean? Because it's, like, yeah. we we <clears throat> preceded the whole trend. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we were here. What I mean, by, like, we were here before it. It was like a thing to be a podcast, you know what I mean? So yeah, not only that though, too. I also feel like many podcasts. There's, yeah, many podcasts. Some are good for um, just listening. Like I wouldn't want to watch you, and some are good for both. And I think we have that. We have the ability to transcend in both spaces where we would be good to listen and good to watch. Yeah, so that's what I said. Um, maybe you're a fan of like watching us you know what i mean yeah. you're not really someone who will listen so you know what i mean go listen is all i'm really saying yeah before we do get started make sure you shop glow nude yeah <laughs> nah, I'm gonna lie. Yes, guys make sure you hit us up on our instagram at glow.nude you want to like and follow us on our Instagram again at glow.nude, 100% organic skincare products for your skin for every skin. No, I'm not lie. Again, follow us on our Instagram at glow.nude. Send us a DM for more information. That is true. All my life, Fun Flex has been loud. Oh, he's been a loud life. just personality. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he's so loud. I mean. I feel like all DJs are loud, but I feel like him specifically does not have like a tone down button. <laughs> like I, I feel like he's you always, see me. <laughs> like he's always, always, no. I, You're on the radio. We're listening to you. I pray to have his energy in a bottle and just shake it up and drink yeah, it because that shit. for the to, gym, maybe to always be on 10, like 24 seven. Like even if you have a bad day, that's insane. I've never I would not know he had bad days. Cause he's always yeah. so animated. There's people, there's like there's certain personality people like that, that can pocket you know that, I mean? pocket your sadness and be loud. Hell no, I'm nah, <laughs> not about being loud, but just like their personality is that like loud and rambunctious. You know what I mean? <laughs> and maybe some people can't take that. Like, yeah, you gotta take that in in like portions. Like, yeah, that's all right, true. you know what I mean? Like, imagine Funflex being on that timing at like six thirty a.m. That gives me DJ it's Khaled like, vibes. What? I feel like DJ Khaled is the annoying, rambunctious friend. Like, I don't know. He seems like the friend that be saying some shit like, man, here you go with this bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, DJ Khaled? To me, he seems like Hell that no. one friend that just say some shit that you don't want to hear right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. And he's loud. Like, I feel like he's really? that type of person. He gives you loud? Yes. Like, when he's That's talking weird. to... I feel like when he's intoxicated, he would be loud and talking close to your ears. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, he seemed like, like that. Time. Like, that would piss me off. Like, oh, yeah, that would make me so mad. I hate those. I You're, hate you be do. around those type of people. <laughs> yes, like, don't don't talk into my ears. I don't I don't like feeling that your spit particles. Like, <laughs> they have their hand on your shoulder. Like, yo, bro, I got to tell you something. Like, yo, you got to tell me something right now? <laughs> Why you're massaging my shoulders? Like, we're in the middle of a of a party or a club and you have to tell me something mad intimate right now. Like, yeah, I don't, it don't, I don't be, it. It don't be nothing. It's like, yo, bro, you know what we got to do? We got to do like, no, we don't. We, <laughs> we don't have get to this do money. <laughs> we don't have to do that. The fuck are you talking about? 
<laughs> we got to go and get this money. You don't need to tell me this right now in the middle of a function. Like, bro. I like, don't want to <laughs> I'm getting money, bro. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? No, I'm not lying. You know what else that I think is kind of crazy? Um, The fact that Instagram has notes, right? And that there's polls on the notes that people can't respond really? to. Yeah, you you could you could put a poll, and the it's that's the little if, little status type vibe, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if people are bored, but the question because like I have no choice but to see it because it's in your message center. Mm. Like when you go to check your DMs, and I feel like well, why are y'all saying some of the things y'all are <laughs> saying? Like they're like, oh, if you ate food today, yes or no? Like, no like, like, and it's like uh, an engagement can, interaction. It's like who cares? Does that count towards your engagement? Because it's like the I've never really looked at ours for the podcast because that's the only reason why i post notes was is for the podcast i get that but people are just posting so i never looked at the analytics when it comes like, to <laughs> they're like oh what's the best sign you've ever been with it's like no, who cares lying. why are you doing this in the the app i petition for instagram to take it out of dms like i don't want to see that i petition for instagram to get rid of it because how useful really is it it, it's really not. I, mm. I mean, I guess you have to see it because. And are people it. really messing with threads? Like, let me know. Is threads like a thing? Cause I, I think it's in. I I like I don't want to go on threads. I hate yeah. Twitter, and I I would nah. I imagine it being the same. I Twitter feel like is where I'm gonna stay when it gets it comes to getting off just random thoughts. I'm not gonna make a thread. It's not gonna happen. I see a lot of numbers in people's things so i think threads is a thing it makes it seems like people are over there like instagram is making it seem i think that people way, are right? over there because when you scroll your feed some of the threads pop up yeah. so i feel like so it's like are people it's like let me know like is people that, are over there i think there's a there? there's a secret know. society yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're having <laughs> that they're enjoying Imagine. it shit have at it i will not be yeah. a part of that while we're just getting thoughts off before we get to the topics um we were talking about twilight Right, yeah, uh, before we started recording, um, apparently Twilight is coming out with a new chapter. Where if you missed Twilight or didn't know about it, Renesme, Renesme, yeah, <laughs> Renesme <laughs> is older now. Uh, How um, old? There, the story is a lot of the people. Oh, she looks like she's in like her teens or whatever. Or oh, she like eighteen, maybe fifteen. Yeah. Um. Pretty much, they're saying that a lot of the people in the Volturi didn't co-sign the truce so niggas oh. is mad yeah and they're coming after them so bella and the, her, the, the cullens, cullens are saying yo i'm we're with the shits like y'all saw what would happen to y'all so they would die no 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 they didn't see the leader saw and i'm guessing he didn't share that information yeah so they some people of the voltory was like you know what? we're not gonna do this we're not gonna have this battle and they're cool with it. But you know the, the light-skinned guy who was always trying... Well, they're all light-skinned. With the dreads, right? Not light the, not the with light-skinned dreads. with the dreads. I'm talking about the, the guy that's a part of the Volturi. And he was Dakota Fanon's, like, I guess, brother. Or yeah, yeah. Him, he was the main antagonist or whatever that wasn't with it. He got the smoke. He be, yeah. yeah. He be doing the, the he paralyzing made, smoke. He made people try, like, start up a, the war again. It's so. done for him. It's done for him, fam. I don't know. Like... <laughs> It's a serious now. R.I.P. to him. <laughs> yeah. He might smoking, be the first. He's smoking on that smoke pack. <laughs> he might be the first to go. I'm with another chapter. Nah, yeah. People love Twilight, but we're talking about how these vampires, right? I would say personally, these vampires would be considered the op of vampires. Yeah. But the crazy part is that a lot of other vampires didn't really share was their son. I mean, I guess the originals with the daylight ring, like the sun don't really damage them, but they turn, they turn crystal and (laughs) they they glisten in the sun. And you like, you, you, you would decapitate them and that would be it. You throw them in fire, (laughs) like charcoal. The thing that gets me is that like, they were so powerful. They have so many abilities and it's like, that is true, but we don't know. The abilities of maybe some vampires can have because don't aren't the um the what are they called your vampire the children. originals don't the originals can compel people or whatever they do yeah but I would say <laughs> the ability to make somebody do something versus the ability to control the elements <laughs> like are you serious I don't know there's man. no comparison to me that That's ones true. who had electric electric electricity abilities that is true you know what i mean like the powers of the 
vampires from the Twilight Saga, it scales it like does surpass <laughs> enormously. The it does surpass the original. Like yeah, the originals they can be in the sun. They got daylight rings, and you know, I mean, you had the line, the Michelson line that was. The original vampires, you know, they're the strongest or whatever. So I'm just like, yeah, but these you, guys were just kind of strong, but they don't have powers. Like, how do you acquire a daylight ring from the like? How do you get one? I forgot what was the process. Um, it was like you had to. I forgot. I gotta look it up. But I know a witch had to be involved. You had to get a witch and um and a warlock. She had, she had to put, <laughs> You had to put like a spell on it and like you needed your blood or something. Let me see. That's crazy. How do you get a daylight? Ring? The reason why we were having I was this looking at how to buy one. <laughs> now <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. Cause why? Hey, yo, you, do you need you need that? <laughs> what did you need? No, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's crazy, yo. Yeah, let me look it. Let me look it up. <laughs> yeah, we 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 started having this conversation because my uh, my dude. Every single time we talk about vampires, he has to bring up the fact that the Cullens are OP, and I'm like, yo, why do we always have to but argue right. technicality? But it, it bugs me because I'm like, bro, why why do you how do you even care so much about vampires? <laughs> It's just the lore of something so <laughs> mystical, you know what I mean? Like, it's not real, so that's one. And it's like, it's just, some, it's interesting. I feel like as humans, we're always captivated by the ability to live such long lives. That is and true. And vampires are known to, what, live thousands, hundreds of years, you know And he's I mean? always pulling out a, a dictionary, a vampire dictionary <laughs> to explain, like, the origins. I'm like, yo, relax, A daylight bro. amulet, also referred to as a daylight ring, is a piece of jewelry with a lapis lazuli gemstone enchanted by witches, which help to protect vampires from the sunlight. This also allows vampires to walk freely in the day. So, um, yeah, the witch, it, it's a specific gem, like say like a jade or whatever. Apparently it's called a lapis lazuli gemstone, and it's enchanted by witches. So you get a gem, gemstone, you get a witch, enchant the gemstone, and you wear the ring. You're good. That is crazy, because it's like, are do. That means that the the originals have like an existence of everybody in their realm. I, I look and at I it like think, the Marvel yeah, universe. I'm I'm don't quote me, but I don't even think the originals needed daylight rings. Yeah, they did. I think yeah, their mom made the first daylight ring. But how would she think to say, you know what, like? Because she was like one of the first witches, or one of the few first witches. So like everything she created, like got passed down. Where like this is. Damn. What we do from now on. It's like you being the first person to do something. That That's that crazy. was their mom. And their mom created the va- them being vampires. And then here we go. All the vampires is now because of this family. So they've created every vampire that ever existed. You know what I rocks with? I rocks with the idea of Halloween Town. How they have like a close knit place where everybody can just be themselves. I like that that the idea of that rather than have everybody mix with humans. Like that's the problem. Like when when humans get involved, right? Yeah, like because they always want to research something. I feel like when those like stories and fairy tales are doing their thing, the the way things go bad is when humans get involved. Yeah, they always say that. You know what I mean? So it's always so crazy to me. You know, but what are you gonna do? I mean, we're kind of bridging the time, but fuck <laughs> it, we're gonna get into one topic that we we actually did have on our dock, and then we're gonna. Back again. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Yo, so Sean Kingston, right? Sean Kingston oh is in days. some. It's in some. Um, some bad. It's not looking too good for Sean Kingston. Apparently, what happened to him? He got arrested in Europe. Apparently, there was some money fraud, money laundering fraud. He's like facing some serious charges, Damn. like federal charges. Uh, let me do a quick Google search. Apparently, Nicki Minaj got arrested in um yeah like, for having weed Amsterdam yeah like isn't <laughs> for bringing weed to Amsterdam and she said it wasn't her it was her bodyguards that had pre but they gonna blame her you know yeah I mean? that's true Sean Kingston arrest let's see what they're saying one million dollars in fraud and theft apparently his mom got um arrested too damn how your moms get involved Sean Kingston who along with his mother was arrested last week after Florida home was raided. Is facing ten charges of 
theft and fraud. Damn. Kingston Damn. carried out a defrauding scheme committing grand theft and fraudulent use individuals' personal information to obtain services. So pretty much yeah, scamming like, you know what I mean? Scamming, cash fraud and shit like that. Yeah, so, so it's not looking too good for him. <laughs> I'm I'm laughing because I had a conversation about the different kinds of scamming and what is okay essentially because what is stealing from people and what is not stealing from people? What is stealing from the government, essentially, right? Okay. Because the government steals from us. Yeah, I would say. So I had to explain to somebody, like, these fraudulent cards that people are getting, it's not just like you're grabbing them out of thin air. This is somebody's information that's mimicked onto this card. You know what I'm saying? And they were like, oh, I didn't know that. I'm like, yeah, that, <laughs> that is dumb. <laughs> like, <laughs> that isn't like they're not pulling There's that. There's no free money. So if the minute someone's trying to say, oh, this is free money or, you know what I mean, I'll turn 100 into 1,000. Yeah. It should always, like, have you thinking, like, damn, what is going on? Because this doesn't seem legit because it's not. The thing know? that's crazy to me is that, like, a person on Sean Kingston's caliber, you made money, you made millions. I don't know what your contract. That's what they say, man. I don't Honestly, know what your contract is. You can't really assume because there's a reason why he's yeah, doing But that's that. what I'm saying. I don't know what your contract is like, but people do get greedy. Let's not sit. Let's, let's, oh, yeah. Because G Herbo got caught up in the same situation. Like, you're making money. You're cool. In a case. It'd be the people around you type shit. Like, <laughs> yo, I'm going to turn your 100000 into a million, man. Like, I, I feel you know like. those convincing ones. Why not invest your money into steak or, like, these, these deals these parlays like i feel like that's better than you flipping like somebody else's money that's crazy but it's different when you see it work like <laughs> these scammers can be very convincing they, <laughs> the thing is is that like no scammer ever lived and was like yo i'm out of this <laughs> like, yo, i survived yeah, they yeah, al yeah. we always see them in the news getting 50 years like Always. Yeah, maybe you catch no matter no no matter how many no matter how many years they've been doing it for. Cause I just saw like some re um real housewife made millions and she's going down for fraud. It's Damn. like what are y'all like what's so compelling yeah, about that's the, that's the thing though, like the quick scheme, especially if someone you know that one person that's just in that life and they're like, yo, I know you up, but I could get you up, up. Like they, no matter how much you have, yo, you there's gonna reach be that. God yeah, as there's gonna be that <laughs> one person that be like, yo, I know you have a billion dollars, but how would you like to have two billion dollars? That's know what I mean? crazy. So, that, that's like Jeff Bezos. The motherfuckers is gonna try to convince you. That's like someone on Jeff Bezos level making that type of money, already successful, and they're like, yo. Cameron in his DM like, cards? yo, bro. <laughs> I know you got two trillion dollars, bro. Like, me, I could me. flip that into five. <laughs> it's like, nah, bro. <laughs> like, like, who are you? That's, who are you financially? Like, how can you do this? That's crazy. Because how yeah. many people, like, how y'all doing it? Like, I, I want to. It's interesting. I, I want to have a scammer on the show <laughs> and, and like tap in, right? Yeah, like. <laughs> Blank their voice or send us a, a yeah. voice note or whatever, like, cause I I I want to know what's so compelling. I think about a lot it. of people would like to know. I think a lot <laughs> Not for them to be coerced by it and do it, but I feel like, cause we all know you're gonna end up in jail. So if that's your life that you want to live, by all means, go ahead and do it. There's plenty of ways to get money out here, but for the meantime, get your ass a job. Yeah, <laughs> nothing is as secure as a nine to five. Yeah, that's true. But we are going to take a break. Uh, we're going to come back to the actual docket. <laughs> yeah, we had one, but you know how it is. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. Please get in contact. All right. So um, I remember this show. Um, I know it's a movie. In Jamaican, we call it shows, movies, movie shows. Um, This movie, right, It it was the dude who played um austin power it was like he was like a guru or something it was just i'm trying to remember it was it love guru yeah the love guru right and i'm like it had me thinking like like what's a guru like what do, what do pe what comes to people's mind when they think of a guru you know what i mean like like what is a guru 
<clears throat> I always think of like a monk when I think about a guru. So it has to stem from that, right? Like I would, I would think like so. All holy, all all righteousness person. You know, like let me see, guru, Hinduism and Buddhism, a spiritual teacher. I feel like the the term guru has gotten so diluted lately. That's what I'm saying. People be in you know, on the cash guru scam gurus. You yeah. know what I mean? People who we, they just put guru at the end of everything. The yeah, love like, guru, like, like you know Barbie I mean? and all these things. Like those <laughs> those terms that people just add to 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 stuff because they want they want. Leader. I guess it's to say, yo, I'm at the highest level at what I'm at or mm-hmm. where I'm at or what I'm doing. Spiritual teacher. So yeah, like money gurus, yeah, business guru, health I, guru. I, yeah, I've heard them put just guru on things. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, like what? What is that like? And how do you get to that level to say, yo, you can't self proclaimed? Yeah, I was about to say you can't be self proclaimed. <laughs> no, like, it's self proclaimed. They're saying, oh, I am the the top of the top of this, with no 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 proof, <laughs> no credentials, I mean? no credentials, no nothing, man. So That's I crazy. Was, I was like, what? What are you talking about? So I'm like, let me let me divulge on what this really means because I feel like, like you said, like it's just something people self proclaim themselves to be. I always thought love gurus were sick because how who and they be single. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> how are you like the all time high of of creating connections when you can't create one yourself? That like movies always made these people seem like yo they got it on lock, but like single. the 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 movies. Um, I know Vivica Fox is the one I'm thinking of. It's like when they had like Hitch, you know. What I mean, it's the same thing. It's yeah. like when they have the the movie about the guy telling the girl how to get girls, and the girl telling the, the other girls how to get, how to guys. get guys. So it's like, you know, what I mean, it's always like jaded. And one-sided you know what i mean yeah and then the couple ends up just working out whatever works for them because initially it's that's all subjective it right yeah you know you can't really say this is the way that's why like when the podcast and the stuff it's like the relationship podcast and it's like this is what you should do or whatever like with a grain of salt all that information you should take it because like what's going to work for you and whoever you're trying to pursue is what's going to work you know what i mean you can't look for horrible decisions or you know what i mean yeah. whatever the mother podcast is called because i don't really be paying attention to them but i think the thing is people just see like a person that's attractive and they assume like yo the only reason why you're not with somebody is because you're you're the one denying it you know what i'm saying and i feel like that's why these people have this self-proclaimed title for themselves because they're like yo i'm attractive I can get whoever I want. I just choose not to. When the reality is, is that you are selfish and you're you're self-absorbed, which is why you can't keep somebody. I feel like the idea of saying, yo, I'm a guru and I can teach you how to love when you can't form a connection for yourself is insane to me. I think what really happens is there's not enough time to reflect on the decisions that's made in the area of like say love like right like yeah. we don't think about how we've loved people in the past we don't that's think about true. how we receive love so a lot of times when i see like maybe an attractive woman or you know i mean whatever someone that's attractive a handsome man or whatever and i've seen time frames in how long they've gone without being committed to a person and then I see what they're saying about that. Like, you know I mean, I'm just going to focus on myself or I'm mm-hmm. just going to try and do this and that. And it's like very important. I think that's the best thing for you. But on the other hand, is there any time that you're using to reflect on how you've distribute love and receive love? in the past. I think that's just what I think to myself. Cause it's I th- like, I think the same thing too, but it's, it's a lot of times they don't want to do that because the world is so fixated on these attractive people. And the only reason why they don't, they're not with somebody again is because a lot of single attractive people. And it's like, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and there's like, think clear, about why that is the case for you. Yeah. Because they, they so have this, this thing about them. That's like they, this hierarchy to say, yo, 
I could get everybody else, I could get anybody I want. So why would I why would I care? Would I change? Why would I change you? Yeah. Why and would I change? I think. I don't think they are or want. They don't want to change. But if you're so lusted after, why would you even put yourself in the position to change? And that's why they don't like they can't formulate connections because they don't think about oh the other person receiving love and giving love and, and any of that. I wouldn't listen to their advice. I wouldn't take it because you're 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 you don't know how to formulate a healthy connection if it's not about you, you, you. Yeah, like this one girl, I guess me and you we just be laughing at what she does. Um oh, she consider brother. herself to be a guru, famous bro. or whatever the hell she considers herself to be, but like Lord I know, her, I know bro. someone needs to tell her, but she's not gonna listen because she's, she's just gonna block you. Yeah, she's. I, I see how she approaches uh, criticism mm -hmm. from people, and it's like she can't take it. Like, what what is it gonna take for you to sit and really think about the decisions you've made when it comes to that aspect? Because I think it's very important, bro. It's very important for you to think about how you've done things in the past when it comes to that you know what i mean like the type of person you want to be with the type of person you are that you think you are and the type of person that you think you attract like and she's a perfect so... example as to not to cut you but she's a perfect example of what i was talking about yeah, i know it's just so crazy because it's like all right this is someone who knows that they want that but is willing to do nothing to just alter the way they are seeking love and the way they are receiving love. It's like, I'm just going to stay just like this. And I'm not going to change. At, at this big, big bumba clap. <laughs> and the craziest thing <laughs> is, is that she'll, she'll get on, on, on socials and cry about the same thing and how hurt she is. And, and then I don't care because she won't take accountability. She'll just write it off and be like, I don't want love. I'm not looking for love. Like, <laughs> I'm looking like, for the bag. It's like, girl, <laughs> get a grip, bro. Like, it's just sad to watch, but you know what I mean? We love the show. I love watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like, it's, it's so sad. Yo, look at her. Poor thing won't change. <laughs> <laughs> bro. And there's people that's like, girl, you need to change. And she's like, don't talk to me like that. Like, how dare you? I'm like, girl. Please. And it, nah, I'm not even gonna get into it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into it. It's whatever. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah, thoughts and prayers for sure. <laughs> Cause I hate to put negative energy onto people's lives, but you know, what are you gonna do? So I just suppressed what I was gonna say. <laughs> so art, right? Yes. I feel like art just has such a huge scope, right? Somebody, oh, I don't know, throw a piece of I mean paint subjective I guess but somebody who can do something like right like say they take this and they'll go like that that's like <laughs> art art you know what I mean so <laughs> what I for all my audio listeners I just took up the glow nude uh, deodorant and put it on top of the glow nude um, scrub and just pretty much said that was art <laughs> but um yeah it's like art is just so it's so tricky right so it has many mediums. We're we're going to look at the Webster definition of what art is, and then we're going to give our opinion on what art is. Uh, it's crazy. While you look that up, I saw this guy go into the woods with a canvas, dip some tree branches in paint, and whip the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was selling them. Like, and I'm like, okay. That's what I'm talking about. So art, all right, with a one above it. The expression or application of human creative skill emphasis on human mm -hmm. human creative skill and imagination typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power and i think that's why art is so like i would say art is subjective because many people are moved by many different things like what would like him whipping the canvas <laughs> and, uh, with the branch would be beautiful and uh, a tearjerker to many. I don't care for it, but some people might love it. You know what I'm saying? That's and I feel true, like yeah. that's what make art so such a, a huge um, scope. scope because it's subjective to what you think. Like 
we was talking about it the other day. I saw this girl put on mad random clothes that didn't match to me. They didn't go together. They were it was mad unorthodox. She used a tie as a belt. I'm like, I would never wear that, but she loves it. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like and that is how she expresses herself as far as art. So I think art is interesting because we can manipulate it to how we, you know, see fit. It was saying um, emphasis on human creative skill and imagination, emphasis on producing works to be appreciated for their beauty and emotional power. So it's something that is created by a human that inflicts some type of emotion Mm -hmm. or, you know what I mean? It makes you feel or think, right? So it could almost be anything, right? And I think a lot of the time what end up happening is when it's created, when art is created, it now enters the realm of what it's, what it is right interpretation yeah so what i mean by that is art only exists or or the the creation of art is is its its own existence you know what i mean yes. so the fact that you created it makes that's art. made made it art yes. and now that it is art it is now causing something to happen whether someone hates it or they love it for the fact that you made it, it is it now exists in the realm of Art. XYZ. You know yeah. what I mean? So um what's happening now is art is in the scope of one lens to me being that of music. So a lot of people create music and to them that is them creating art. And with art slash music being what it is, it is being judged. So you can make a song and then I can hate it. So you made something that made me hate it. I feel like with music is kind of tricky for me because I feel like art now that I'm thinking about it has many categories. Of course. Right. And when it comes down to music, I put it in a very different category. Right. It's going to be weird because I'm like. If you didn't graft it, if you didn't sit here and and say, you know what, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this. I love this when I was a kid, yada, yada, yada. That's your art. Like, this is something that you birth. I don't like when people just get up one day and they make music because they know it's, it's, it's going to pop or they're just doing it for the money aspect and say, you know what, this is my art. This is how I express myself when it's it wasn't a vice that you used. You know what I'm saying? Like, It's different because for me, or by definition, it's just a human creating something that makes somebody feel something. I feel like... So it only is art because it was created. Like, you create music. Yeah, many people... I'll just say this. Many people can create art, not many people are artists. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll just say that. I'll leave it at that. That's that's completely different to me. Like, to me, if you're an artist, you're versatile in such... You're versatile in the realm of creation, as in... If you, you're you creating a song, yeah. mediums, if you're creating a, a song, you're the one who composed it. You're the one who created this. You created so much of the song. To me, like an artist is like what you said. You've done so much in the creation of this song. Yeah. You didn't just find a beat on YouTube and rapped on it. <laughs> that's, you're, what, that's what I'm saying. You're a rapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's. Yeah, that's what I, said. I don't it's, think it's all rappers categories. are artists. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So. That's why I think um, just this, this, the lens of art is kind of jaded a little bit. It's for definitely what, skewed yeah, for as what far people as monetary think, value. Yeah, for what people think it is, and it just kind of puts art in such a weird place because of what people think they're created, creating when it comes to, oh, this is art. You know what I mean? So And that's, and that's what I don't like because like from being in an artist space, like from younger and seeing like different things and being engulfed in it, I feel like there needs to be some level of respect for it. And I hate the fact that people can just get up and just jump into it because they feel like, yo, this is, this is where the money is at. This is where the trend is at. That's what I don't like about it because it definitely dilutes the whole category of what art is. And I know art is expressive and you can't say, oh, that's not art versus this is art, whatever, whatever. But I feel like 
true artists understand the passion behind that's what it, it is artists to artists will know yes and that's what so i'm saying if if our artists will be able to tell who another artist is and that's all I, that's all i think really genuinely matters it's like to an artist an artist knows art See what else we got. <laughs> yeah, I'm running, th- running through these. What's hate? I wanted to talk about like I the definition to, of it. Yeah, I wanted to talk about this like during the whole OVO and 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 TDE <laughs> debacle. Only because I. It's f- kind of still going on, low key though. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I I don't know that aspect of it, but I wanted to talk about the the idea of hate because I'm like. I felt like what Kendrick felt for Drake was is is something on a different realm. You know what I'm saying? Like it was it's more than hate. Like I feel like he had something brewing like inside. Animosity. Yeah, like it, it's something brewing inside of him that's different because yeah, I can understand you not agreeing with somebody, you not liking the way somebody move and whatever. Like that that's understandable. But the way like he carries on to like let you know like yo, like I don't to so say, yo, I I would love for you to die. Like, I think that's that's, that's on a hate. different level. That's hate. I feel I feel like that 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 like I hate you. Like hate is he he walked through the door of hate and walked through another door. Like I don't oh, know where okay. he's at with it because hate the definition is you feel intense or passionate dislike for someone, right? You can feel the in, like yeah it's intense and but you know this is more than just dislike that he has for this man. But that's the thing with hate, though. Like, there is no higher. You think there's like, levels to hate? Like, me, we might have thought Kendrick disliked Drake. <laughs> but we learned that he hates Drake. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, once you say you hate somebody, that's like saying you don't love them. Like, you're <laughs> like just the opposite of love. It's what? hate. You know that, right? Love is such a strong feeling. You're like, man, I love this person. Now let's remove all of that and flip it upside down. That's what hate is. It's so strong. It's like, damn, like, like I hate you. Like you ever I, tell somebody like I hate you? No, <laughs> and that's the thing. Like I feel like it's the strongest side of the opposite of love. And I feel like with with why I say something else because for him to hate him this much, you had to know that there was a relationship out of love there that existed. Point of justice fire because i feel exactly because i feel like for the people that like i may would have said that to there was love there you know what i'm saying and i can't i don't know if i hate anybody and that's and that's the thing like you like at some point you're you're like yo if i don't love you i just don't care about you yeah i'm not gonna say yo i would love for you to die that's what i'm saying i think kendrick hates drake (laughs) And so I'm like, yo, and not to stress this topic because I wanted to go like more you. like because I'm just like, yo, like what is what is in the underbelly of like what we feel for people that you can that you can bring that out because hate is something serious. I think it maybe might have one point loved Drake. Like, yo, this guy's awesome. Like, you know, what I mean, he's putting everybody on. He, he's like the biggest artist out. And then fast forward, something happened, whatever the case might be. Now I hate you. Like I hate you so much, you know what I mean? Because he really hates Drake. It makes me think about. It made me think about a hero and a villain, right? The only reason why who's I, the hero? No, the only reason why I think about heroes and villains is because for for a villain to become a villain, they had at one point loved who they want to kill. You know what I'm saying? If you think about every person who's a villain, they're like, yo, That's like, hard. I I I I, I really wanted I wanted something from you, or I wanted this, like in Flash, I think. The, the the other guy, he was like, yo, I, I looked up to you. I loved you at one point. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the reverse flash? Yeah. Like, I don't even know why that's even a thing. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway. Lazy ass right. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, he's reversed him. <laughs> and what? even in. Give him a name. Even in um the Joker. It's the same thing. Like, with. I think. I don't know if he loved he didn't love him, but something, um, our younger sister said something about it, which made me think like, yo, that was the case, but I don't remember, but there was love there. So I'm like, how do you go from it being like, yo, major love, major respect to the point where, yo, I like, I, like to me, he had to have loved him for something. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They he probably loved Jerk at one point. Now I hate you. You know what I mean? Like I guess you gotta you- think about what made you dislike someone. Like what did they do? You know what I mean? I don't have that but to anybody. If if I like didn't want to deal with you anymore, I just kind of just didn't talk to you or don't deal with you. But that's what people I'm- who I have in that where I just haven't seen in five plus years now. So it's like I will just not see you again. I'm not gonna harbor some negative vibes towards you because that's it's like, what i'm saying like if i if i do it much you, for my energy you know what i mean yeah and if i saw you on the street hungry i would give you money and i, I, I would make sure you're good I'm, but I, but that's, i gotta stick with just ignoring you <laughs> but, but, but that, that's what I, you saw that i ain't see nothing <laughs> i can't i, I don't that understand like. me, i'll say that like for me it's either i don't care for you or like that don't mean i want you to die like i'll say that like I would care if you were dead. And that's what what we don't understand is that he hates Drake and we don't know why. <laughs> I, well, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with not knowing why. I just wanted to understand. What's wrong with two people hating each other? <laughs> publicly, <laughs> for, for public, for, like it's good that y'all hate each other. For public it consumption, going. it's gross and weird. Like the, yeah. the 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 amount of information that's pouring out that that's what makes it gross and weird. In our eyes. But we don't know what happened. You yeah, know what I mean? We'll never know. But if it's not, yo, you killed my, my sister, my, my daughter, my, my friend. We don't know. I'll even settle for a cat because niggas love their dogs and cats. Yeah. But if it's not that, bro, ha, ah, I'll never know. <laughs> Makes you hate somebody that bad. It's crazy. But um, I guess we're here. You know, music take. Let's get it. <laughs> Whoa. All right. So I like this song for just, you know, I mean, I'm on a Cash Cobain wave and it's it feels pretty good, especially when I'm in the gym. It's like perfect gym music. You know what I mean, keeps keeps the bop going. And, you know, I like to feel that energy when I'm in the gym. And um, this is a song that Cash Cobain had already made. So I guess he's calling it a new song, but it's it's dunk contest. Right. So now he's he has J. Cole on it and he's calling it grippy, right? And the first verse is just J. Cole getting his shit off. I've never even heard J. Cole rhyme like this, you know what I mean? So that kind of shook a lot of people. It's like, why is J. Cole talking like this? Like it's not even your bag. <laughs> <laughs> so like I like I like it like I said, I like a lot of songs for the beat first. And then everything else I kinda drown out. Yeah. So it's cool that J. Cole's rapping now and you know what I mean? I don't I'm not I don't really jive with what he's saying, but the song's fire for the fact that the beat is fire and it's a new artist on the beat. You know what I mean? It's like an artist you didn't think doing a uh, a different a t- like I don't know, a perfect example is like an artist who doesn't do auto tune now they now they're doing auto tune. It's like, oh shit, you sound fire doing auto tune. So it's J. Cole on a cash cobain type beat, like, oh shit, you sound fire on a cash cobain type beat. Like I never would have thought you'd do that. You know what right. I mean? So that's Same like T painting in country. Yeah, it's like it's like <laughs> it's, oh wow, it's good. You go, you go hard. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's how I feel about this song. As far as the lyric contents, man, get this shit the fuck out of here, bro. Is he Why saying you... some like Ice Spice type? Yes. So J Cole rapping like Ice Spice. Uh, 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 <laughs> exactly. Uh, especially <laughs> off the strength of what like everything yeah. that happened. Why yeah, you came yeah. back and did this? Missing. Talk about grippy. <laughs> like, no, I don't even want to hear J. Cole say grippy, bro. I was like, I was like, what, are you t- <laughs> what are you talking about, J. Cole? Nah. Why are you talking about this? And I want to so- look up the lyrics. Hold on. Give yeah, me- go right ahead. <laughs> go right ahead. Let me see. Um, That next song is wild, too, that we're going to talk yeah, about. Yeah, I know. That's what's <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> what comes up? The uh, rap genius first? I feel like my kick game. Put her front row of the Nick game. <laughs> now she hit my phone with a nickname. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> oh, okay. J. Cole, sit yeah. down, please. He's a madman. Go back to riding your bike in the woods. <laughs> like, and he was talking about Disney. <laughs> He's like, I'll buy all her kids' tickets to see with, uh, Mickey at Disney. So I think grippy, he was just, I call her yeah. that because it's grippy. She thick in the hips. She a hippie. <laughs> J. Cole, J. Cole. I think he was just trying to rhyme words. J. Cole. Yeah. Ice Spice Bars, right? Ice Very Spice much bars. so. 
Now she thinking a hip, she a hippie. <laughs> You are a nasty man, bro. This is very if, much given. If, if your family and you made this part, I'm sorry. <laughs> how how old is he? How old is he? Let me see. He's almost forty. <laughs> this and you rapping like this? Sit down, bro. You're a nasty man. I don't not want to hear this. Had, uh, Big Sean on this man. Yeah. Cash Cobain should have went for Big Sean. What is this? Or Janae Aiko. Janae Aiko would have went crazy on that beat. It's giving Janae Aiko? For sure. Because I see her on a Cash Cobain beat. He got to tap in with Janae, man. He'd be sleeping on her. And, um. Not that. Hold on. She going to chew on the stick like his Ripley. Ripley's. <laughs> mm, yeah, believe it or not, Ripley's. <laughs> oh, I didn't even put that to the. I said, oh shit! That's how you did there, Jacob. She, she said she was gay until I slayed. Now she's strictly dickly. <laughs> oh hell no! Oh man, I'm sorry, I'm Gen sorry. Z. I'm sorry, Gen Z editor. This you you have a you have a job ahead of you. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. This so gross. let's talk about Tinashe. <laughs> oh, let me look oh, up that. Larry. Only because I see what's becoming like. The song for certain people, you know what I mean, right? Everybody's trying to tap into like, like, like we said, like the ice spice energy, you know what I mean? And this is exactly what this is, Tinashe nasty. Um, only because I see a lot of TikTokers and it's making its rounds on the um trendy audios. I so, thought this um, was somebody like literally saying stuff to their dude and it becoming a sound. I mm. did not know that this was a real song. Yeah, I've been a nasty girl. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> and that's the song. That's the song. Freak? We just we, we just said the whole song. Literally, the next bar is, is somebody going to match my freak? Is I see five lines of nasty. I've been a nasty girl. Yeah, she said at least 10 times. Yeah, that's why I said that's the whole song right there. I would have preferred if this was a Saweetie song. Right. These artists that's coming out with these songs don't really make sense. This is given Sweetie. I hate the fact that Tanashi went from the bop she was dropping mm -hmm. to this like who handles her like who is her team let me look um, this isn't it bro very misleading it's what i thought about chloe at first you know what i mean yeah like please don't do this i don't know because what do you want people to like you're like we you was never given nasty girl. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're a good girl yeah like you've been the, a very good girl don't do this bro please don't do this i don't want to hear this from you girl. ariana i don't want to hear this from taylor you've swift you've been a very good girl like what oh shit tinashe music she's her own tinashe music man. makes sense Shout out man. To her. she's doing this on her own you need a management team <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that ass like you need a marketing team <laughs> <laughs> Girl, it's asking if somebody's gonna match your freak is <laughs> disgusting, bro. Especially for Tanashi, bro. Yeah, like, girl, what do you? I want to see an image of what she looks like now. Like, she looks like the same, same Tanashi. Like Tanashi. Yeah, this is how she's looked. <laughs> like, this is how she's always looked to me. I'm so annoyed at you. Why did you do <laughs> this? <laughs> Why did you do this, Tanashi? <laughs> she, she, she just. She looks like your lab partner. In